following is a presentation of the National Sim Racing League of America. Enjoy the race. Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is qualifying for race number 24. In season number 7 of the NRLOA Chick-fil-A Cup Series, we are here at the Chicago Lamb Speedway. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, mile and a half racetrack we go to all season long here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. And it's going to be another great race here in this series. Had a thriller at Kentucky. And I believe we're going to shape up for a thriller here at Chicago Lamb tomorrow night over on Napa Fan. Uncharted qualifying going on right now. Same guys that attempted to qualify last week at Kentucky since the Turkey Hill Series was off last weekend. It's Sebastian Kukulon in the number 71. We got Tyson Conway, Colton Yo, Cameron Gadju. Dale Salzman, Nick Smith, Micah Knapp, and Matt Tuck in their respective rides here tonight. So Kukulon going to be the first driver to complete a lap here for the Sirius XM 400 qualifying uncharted session. Top two advance on, and we'll qualify along with the other 40 full-time drivers to start on the pole here at Chicagoland. It's going to be 54 laps tomorrow night. We have it toned down to 98% strength for this race, so it's a good chance it could go caution-free for the first time ever here at Chicagoland, but the racing is still going to be fantastic, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it all shakes out for tomorrow night's race. Here's Kukulon in the 71 for Titan Fury Motorsports. If you hear uh, a constant hum or kind of blowing on the microphone, uh, that's my fan blowing directly at me. Um, so I don't know if that's affecting the uh, mic quality or not, but that's just what you're going to have to deal with right now. It's 85 degrees in my basement, so uh, yeah, fun times. Uh, Kukulon with a 29.761. See if anybody has a draft on anybody else, and right now nobody does, so it's open end for all these guys. Cameron Gaju, who's won a truck race here before, just went to the top of the board, but was beaten off by Nick Smith. Who was then beaten off by Sebastian Kukulon in the 71 who goes back to the top of the board for Titan Fury Motorsports. Not a great run there for Kukulon. 36 of Colton Yo, currently 5th fastest. And the number 74 Dale Salzman is 4th fastest right now. The two fastest guys are Kukulon and Nick Smith. Right now, they would be the two guys who would advance on Nick Smith to the top of the board, and he barely edges out Kukulon that time by. I don't think Nick Smith is getting a draft either, so that's pure speed in the number 85 for Friesen Motorsports. Matt Tuck, last guy to complete a lap. There he is in the 98. I believe he is just starting his first lap, but he'll have plenty of time to complete it. It's Nick Smith and Sebastian Kukulon, the two fastest uncharted drivers right now. And they'd both be in the show the way they are currently running here at Chicagoland. Got to watch for anybody who would get a draft. And it might be Cameron Gaiji possibly getting a draft on Matt Tuck here, who might spoil the party for Nick Smith and Kukulon. We'll have to see. He might just be far enough behind to get a push here. Cameron Gaiji... Got that push, top of the board for the number 67. And he's the only guy out there with a significant draft. So expect him to get a faster lap this time by. The number 18 of Tyson Conway just went to second. He pushes Nick Smith out of the transfer position. And Conway did that on speed alone. He's got nobody ahead of him. Expect Gallagher to increase his time. Or should I say, decrease his time. Increase his speed. Actually did not happen. But he is still fastest here in Uncharted qualifying. Number 18 of Tyson Conway, the second fastest guy. And it looks like it's going to be those two guys advancing on to the Sirius XM 400 at Chicagoland. Number 36 of Colton Yo is third fastest. I think Colton Yo has made five races this season in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think most of any of the uncharted drivers, of the Turkey Hill Series drivers, I should say, and uh, he's had a great season in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. 
Um, all things considered, we'll have to see if he makes it full time next year or not. It's going to be interesting who gets in next season. I'm looking forward to see who gets it done, but uh, either way, season eight's going to be great. And with a SRL, first time going to be part of that guy, uh, that group right there, that guy. It's almost one guy right now because Marty's like the only one doing anything over there. But uh, looking forward to that. A lot of the teams will be returning. Oh, look at this. Mike and Knapp with a draft on Sebastian Kukalon. Will he advance to the top two here at Chicagoland? Not quite yet, but he might be getting a draft on this one. I think he's going to close right in on Kukalon here. But will he have enough time? Will the clock run out right here, or will there be extra time added? This Mike and App is definitely closing in on Sebastian Kukulon right now. If this is it, then Mike and App's not going to advance on, and he won't. Not enough time. It's Cameron Gaju and Tyson Conway who are going to be racing in tomorrow night's Sirius XM 400, and they will also attempt to qualify for the pole right now here from the Chicago Land Speedway. So congratulations to Cameron Gaju and Tyson Conway for making it to the show. Here we go. Let's set the starting lineup for the fourth race in the chase in Season 7 of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. And here we are once again from the Chicago Land Speedway ready to set the starting lineup for tomorrow night's Sirius XM 400. And unlike past years, I think winning the pole or starting up front for this race is going to be critical because we've toned the strength down to 98%. Lowest we have ever done it here at Chicagoland. We want to avoid a crash fest race, especially considering the races we've had as of late. Quite a few crashes in the past events here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, so um, officials decided to tone it down a little bit and... Uh, we might see a lot of green flag runs in this race, but that's not going to keep away from the action. They'll still be able to pass. The passing's going to be a little difficult, like it always has been here at Chicagoland. That outside lane works. A very realistic racetrack here at Chicagoland. One of my favorite places to come to. Probably my favorite mile-and-a-half racetrack. Maybe behind Texas. Really like Texas as well. Original Texas is great, but either way, this racetrack is great as well. There is Chase driver Brad Stover, regular season champion. In the number 99, comes into this race 21 points behind our points leader, John Stewart, who had a great run at Kentucky last weekend. He was the highest chase finisher in that event. He holds an eight-point lead ahead of Elijah Gordon coming into tonight's event. John Stewart, 2,096 points. Pretty solid run for him so far in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series chase. Here is our defending... Sirius XM 400 winner, Mr. Jesse Turner, who won at Bristol a few weeks ago. He's looking for his second straight Chicagoland win only. NLOA teammates Jesse Turner and Matt Delio have won this race before and are in the field for this season. The past winners include Diego Stevenson in Season 1. Delio won this race in Season 2. Season 3 was won by Adam Brown. Season 4 was won by the late Dean Wickard. Season 5 was won by Griffin Lim. And then last season, Jesse Turner took home the checkered flag here at Chicago Lamb. Now we got a guy who's fast right now. Brad Stover. But look at the top. Well, it was the top three there for a moment, but now they're all over the place. Stover's back to the top. Now it's Cody Sill, another chase driver, with the fastest time in qualifying. Sam Edio is sixth. Roger Ray is fifth. Brad Stover is second. John Stewart is ninth. Five chase drivers in the top ten. What an impressive run by those guys right there, especially Cody Sill. He comes into this event 28 points behind. That's exactly what he wants to see. And like I said, starting up front for this race is going to be critical to get the win. It's only 98% strength. The passing is going to be a little bit more difficult than it has been in past years here. Um, it's still going to be very possible, of course. But it's not going to be as easy. And uh, you might want to start up front. You're going to have a chance at the victory. Great run for Nicholas Samadio. Right now, 8th. The Season 2 winner, Matt Dalio, is ninth. Last year's winner, Jesse Turner, is currently on the provisional outside pole. Trey Barto, who's actually won a Turkey Hill Series race here before, just went to third. A great run for the number four machine. 
Trying to locate him on the racetrack. There he is. Jonathan Wong as well with a great run in the 39. He's up the third. Stover is fifth. Chase driver Roger Ray is sixth. Juan Garcia, Luke Rainey. Great. He needs a top 10. Let's just give Luke Rainey a top 10 before the season ends, please. He's the only driver without a top 10 this season. Some uncharted drivers have won races this season. Luke Rennie hasn't even finished in the top 10, and he's racing every single race so far. Currently 8th fastest with JoJo Carter, and actually now Cameron Garlington just went up to 9th. JoJo Carter and then Nicholas Samadio is now 11th with Tristan Allen, Ace Garcia, our last winner. Matt Delio, and somebody else has moved up. That was Richard Kinghart going to the 10th position. But it's still Cody Sill, fastest here in Sirius XM 400 qualifying. Try to locate him on the racetrack here. He might not be on the racetrack right now. I gotta tell you, it, it is stupid warm and stupid humid down in my basement right now. And of course, that's where my room is. You might be hearing the fan, like I mentioned, the fan. And like I said, it's like 85 degrees down here. I got a bottle of water. I took it down with me maybe about 20 minutes ago. And now it's just so wet from the condensation. I'm trying to move it all around so that my wooden desk doesn't get all wet. We've had a problem with water and wood lately in our house. And uh, we really don't want this to get all moldy either. So, um... I, I, I'm going to find something to put this on. It might just be the notebook I use for all the Chick-fil-A Cup Series information, which is going to be okay. I do not need last week's points, so that's just what we're going to do with it right there. But anyway, Cody still fastest here in Chicagoland qualifying, followed by Jesse Turner, Jonathan Wong, Trey Barto, and Matthew Phillips. Teammate to Brad Stover, who is sixth. Roger Ray, Gron Gar ah, Roger Ray, Juan Garcia, Tristan Allen, and Julio Caesar. Then it's Luke Rainey, Cameron Garlington, Garrett Zanor, Richard Kinghart, Justin Knight, Elijah Gordon, Chase Driver in 16th, Ace Garcia, Zachary Fitzwater, JoJo Carter, Nicholas Amity all the way back in 20th now. Michael Canto is 23rd. The number 04 of John Stewart, our points leader, is 34th. Diego Yepes is 37th. Stuart Gratton is 39th, and then Justin Heath has yet to clock a time, so even though he's shown there in 42nd, he hasn't clocked a full lap under speed yet, and he should get one here soon. But other than that, everyone's clocked in a time, and Cody Sill, nobody's been able to dethrone him from the top position. He set that fast time very early on, and... He's now in a pretty good position. Like I said, Cody Seal's been a very quiet driver this season. He's yet to get a victory. And uh, Stover, um, sorry, Sill, I should say, only 28 behind John Stewart. So uh, we'll have to see. I mean, he's currently 20 positions ahead of John Stewart in the starting order. So the way things are looking, it could be Cody Sill in the points lead at the end of the night tomorrow. This is going to be the last night race of the season in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, but it's not going to be the last time under the lights. Uh, so what I mean by night race is a Friday night race. The rest of the races are going to be uploaded Saturday morning past this weekend. So it's technically not the last night race because Homestead is at night two. But uh, you get the gist. Last time we're going to be on a Friday night for the Chick-fil-A Cup Series this season. Um... Kind of trying to up the new schedule, you know, we've been doing only one race a week here. And that's about as much as I can chew right now, so it's working out pretty well. But uh, either way, you know, last time we're going to be racing under the lights on a Friday night. Now it's going to be a Saturday morning night race for the finale, but whatever, who cares. Uh, you guys will still enjoy that anyway, especially one of these 10 chase drivers looking to get this championship. So Jesse Turner trying to come down the pit lane there, and uh, Michael Canto had to check up tremendously. Not at all what he wanted. Nicholas Samadio back to 21st, so a lot of these guys who clocked in fast times early on kind of fallen back, except for Cody Sill, Jesse Turner. Those guys set blisteringly fast laps, and of course, Turner is the defending winner of this race, so don't be surprised if he gets a second Chicagoland victory. He's got five Chick-fil-A Cup Series wins, looking for his sixth here tonight, or tomorrow night, I should say. And uh, he might very well do it. He's got a fast number 77. But uh, keep an eye on Trey Barto as well. He's one of those guys who uh, has gone quite a while without a victory over two full seasons. He's starting to rack up a winless streak. And uh, for Trey Barto, Barto used to win every season 
But uh, last season didn't get a win, and he's still winless this season for Mobile One Racing. We'll have to see what he does tomorrow night. Looks like he's going to be starting in the fourth position, which is a great starting position here at Chicago Land. The outside lane might work out well for him at the start, so we'll have to see what he can do. But uh, either way, looks like the times have kind of fallen off here for everybody. So we got Cody Sill, Brad Stover, and Roger Ray. Chase drivers starting inside the top ten. Next chase driver in line. There's a number five of Elijah Gordon in 16th. And the next guy behind him is Nicholas Samadio in 21st. Michael Canto in 24th. A little ways back before you get to the next one. And that's John Stewart in 34th. Diego Yepes in 37th. And it doesn't appear that Justin Knight has been able to move himself out of the 42nd position. With uh, Stuart Gratton there in 40th. So we got guys all over the place for the chase tomorrow night. It's going to be fun to see how those guys in the back shape up with the guys who are going to be starting up front. John Stewart, definitely the big story, comes into this race. The points leader, he's going to be starting 34th tomorrow night. That is not a good starting position, and that's not a good incident right there. A lot of these guys are not going to get times in here. Trying to come down the pit lane, and it does not work out too well. But, uh, hey, you know what? It's uh, just qualifying. Uh, we haven't seen many qualifying wrecks as of late, uh, but we got one here. And Justin uh, Heath could have gotten a good lap there, and he was involved, so that affects a lot right there. But uh, you know, they don't do we don't do backup cars or anything like that. You know, n none of that. They'll all be starting where they are currently uh, scored here on the scoring pylon, which you guys will see here in 26 seconds. It has been a very good season as of late for the veterans. Last rookie winner was Brad Stover at Nashville over a month ago. So Stover, definitely one of the better drivers this season. Like I said, regular season champion. And uh, he's going to come into this race only 21 behind. He's going to be starting sixth. You might want to watch for him getting his third win of the season. We'll have to see. But you got to watch out for Cody Sill, Chase Driver with the pole. Here at Chicago Lamb, you'll start alongside Jesse Turner, the defending winner of this race, Jonathan Wong, and Trey Barto in row number four. Matthew Phillips, Brad Stover, Roger Ray, Juan Garcia, Tristan Allen, and Julio Caesar. The top ten starting positions for tomorrow's Sirius XM 400. Zachary Fitzwater and Jordan Carter tied. I'll have to check and see you got the tiebreaker on that one. Sam Medeo and Roberts tied. No, Sam Medeo's got it on the 83. And one more tie between Alexander Rowe and Daniel McMillan. That's a tight one. I think McMillan has it on Alexander Rowe. Uh, but other than that, that's how they'll line up for tomorrow night. Series XM 454 laps of action here at the Chicago Land Speedway. And Cody Sill will lead the field with a green flag here in the middle of Illinois. It's a great track, so watch it tomorrow night on Napa Fan later tonight. It's the Diet Mountain Dew 400, 300, I should say, in the Turkey Hills Series. I recorded that race. It's a pretty good one, so definitely recommend you check that one out at 6 p.m. Eastern over on Napa Fan. And tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern, it is the Sirius XM 400 in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Race number four of the chase here. And it's going to be fun to see who gets it done here at Chicagoland. I've been talking long enough. Thank you guys very much for watching once again. And I will see you guys later.